Hello, my name is Mariana Baidon. I am the costume designer for Into the Beautiful North. And today we're gonna take you through how the design process went and how we got what we got. So come along. When we started to think about Into the Beautiful North in terms of costumes, one of the most important things for me was to get the tone of the piece right. If you've seen it already, you'll realize that it's a very intricate piece in the sense that it has a very specific tone because it's using all of these elements from westerns and it can go in a very different directions really fast without proper understanding. So that was the main thing, incorporating these elements of westerns into the design and transmitting them to the audience. But if you look at your movie releases, you'll realize that there aren't a lot of westerns there anymore. How do we transmit the feeling of a western to an audience that may not be as familiar with what that feeling is? And so looking back, thinking about the movies that we watch today, the media that we consume, I came to the conclusion that our modern westerns are superhero movies. And I wanted to incorporate that and such elements to our design to get that feeling of a western. And I looked towards Mexican superheroes, radio shows like Caliman, developments in modern design that incorporate these new types of media, and the collectibles, the stamps, uh, you look at like Panini album stamps, or trading cards, um, figurines, all those sorts of things. And those became the building blocks for what the design would ultimately turn out to be. As we kept thinking about it, I realized that all of our characters had to have an iconic element because all of these superheroes that we see nowadays have a very distinctive look, have their thing, if we put it on more colloquial terms. So I wanted to give each one of these characters their little thing. With Nayeli, if you look in sketches and renderings, you realize initially that was going to be her jacket. But as we shifted gears and moved on, that became her shirt and the silhouette. With Vampi, the shell that she has built off this new style of a goth and punk elements and the movies and bands that she has taken this from. For Tacho, it was how comfortable in his expression he is as a Mexican man in a small town, which is something really unusual, especially at the time. With Irma, it also was about expression, but about how she's this woman in politics who's not afraid to show off who she is, and that includes her culture as well. And with Atomico, the idea of this man building this armor out of trash and making the best out of things every single time. And how he puts so much effort into the things that he cares about. So that was the original ideas that you can see in their sketches and renderings how they developed and moved on. The biggest challenge for me initially for this piece was how many ensemble characters this show has. The show has a lot of characters that we see for a little bit and then they go and come back and I wanted to make sure that all of those people didn't go unnoticed and didn't feel like just a blur and so for this I built a color palette for each one of the places that we were in in order to incorporate culture and balance into these characters and then built up research with those in mind. And this is one of the times where being a Mexican woman growing up in northern Mexico has been very useful because I knew where to look for such research and I could get really cool images because I can look in all of these places. And that was definitely a privilege and not something that everybody has, but also something that made this project very personal and intimate because these are people that I've seen all my life and to bring them to the stage was a very personal project for me. And so we tried to incorporate these elements to the iconic nature of these characters, no matter how much time they got on stage. 
course, in the middle of this process, um, the COVID pandemic hit, and we had to shift gears entirely. At first, we didn't know what was gonna happen, but ultimately, we shifted into the new format that we have. And that became with its own can of worms for costumes, because usually you'll separate what you're gonna buy, what you're gonna build, what you're gonna source from stock. But now there was a whole new set of hurdles to this. How can we get things to actors? Are we gonna replicate the exact thing? We don't have workers who can build these things. What are we gonna do? So it changed into sourcing elements from actors' closets and other places and seeing what we can source from stock and all of these different elements that could possibly create this new idea of the project. And the coolest thing that came from this is that we got to have much more in-depth conversations with the actors about their characters, see where our character analysis met in the middle, what we thought about these characters, what we deferred on, and the other really cool thing that came from that is that because these actors are using some of the elements from their own closets, these are clothes that they feel comfortable in but now have a second meaning to them. This is now this character's shirt and I know as with my previous experience as an actor that can help and motivate certain things that possibly you, possibly you didn't have before. Overall I think this project has helped bring so many influences into one single production room and has forced us to think outside the box because of these new constraints that we have and ultimately has created new creative juices for us to use once we get back to the stage and make new projects. Now that we know what it's like to create all of these projects with each one of us at home, I definitely look forward to the time that we can be on stage again, but I'm not fearful of what we can do with this new medium and I think it's gonna be bring a new age for our theater. Well, that's how the design process went. I hope this was helpful and interesting especially if you're considering or interested in costume design and you know I really hope you enjoy this project. It's made with a lot of love and a lot of effort from a lot of people and I hope you stay safe and I'll see you soon.